Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, this video is going to be covering uh, Hildren's interaction with the new Archon mods. She actually has access to quite a bit, though there are some conditions on it, but there are some that she can use uh, more than others. Um, <clears throat> let's go over what they are, if you haven't seen them before, uh, so we can talk about how you can actually fit more of them on. Um, okay, so the first one is Archon Flow. Not really relevant to her since it's actually energy. It has the same energy as uh, Prime Flow. Uh, enemies killed with cold abilities have a 10% chance to drop an energy orb. Hildren doesn't use energy, so this by default uh, would really have to have a strong condition on it. And it is one of the weaker conditions. Uh, so she's not going to be using it. Archon Intensity is the next one. 30% ability strength. She does use that. Uh, the condition is restoring health with abilities grants 30% ability strength for 10 seconds. Without a helmet, uh, Hildren is not able to heal herself with an ability. None of these heal her, direct, her health directly. Um, she has tons of stuff that can regen heal, uh, shields. Uh, but nothing that actually heals. Uh, so she's, without a helmet, she's not going to be able to use this. Uh, the next one is, and it's probably the one that she's going to abuse the most, uh, is Archon Vitality. Uh, status effects from abilities that deal heat damage will be applied twice. This is actually pretty good on her. If you're using um, a Blazing Pillage, she can use this very easily. Uh, the heat from her AoE gets scaled twice. Um, so it's just an overall buff. But it is going to cost you a slot, though. Because she doesn't value health super high. But I guess it could, could help you with those t pesky uh, toxin procs when they do proc. But this at least has a positive effect on her. So there you go. Uh, Archon Continuity. This is probably going to be the one that she's going to benefit the most from. Um, ability duration. Abilities that inflict a toxin status effect will also apply a corrosive status effect. This is on status effect. You have to be able to trigger the toxin status. Uh, good news for us. Hildren has an exalted weapon, the Balefire. And you can mod this for to uh, toxin and she'll get a free corrosive proc. Not bad. Uh, Archon Stretch. I put this on here because she can at least use it and trigger it. Uh, but she doesn't need the energy. Um, obviously, the range is useful. Uh, but as well, you can trigger easily with this from the Balefire. Um, and in order to trigger it, you would need to have electricity on it, which is good because that's the damage that it does. Uh, you wouldn't need to deal, like, trigger an electricity proc, though. So, as long as you're shooting, you're getting energy. Not that it matters, but she can use it. So, that that's why it's on here. I wouldn't say it's useful, though. Uh, so, let's talk about... We'll do the, uh, the heat status effect first. It's pretty easy Balefire. Or not Balefire. Um, pillage. Got a guy right here. We got our three up, now let's cast two. Two heat status effects. Not bad. That one's pretty simple. Now let's look at the build. The next one is gonna be the toxin status effect where it triggers corrosive. And we're gonna go to the Balefire Charger. Whoops, that is, yep. Okay. Had to do something about the status. Uh, pumped as much status as possible into it. Uh, so the build is effectively going to be uh, Toxin Radiation Corrosive. And it's just getting the damage up as much as possible. As much status so we can trigger it as much. Because this is dependent on status being procced. Um, and I didn't even bother balancing them. I did try a little bit with a 90 mod, but... Uh, because the weapon is an 8 electric, it's just going to be hard to try to get that off there. Alright, got that up. 
All right, this guy. We managed to proc a... There we go. Toxin, radiation, and corrosive on one hit. Easy enough. See, easy enough to keep the, the procs up. Radiation has a super long status duration. Um, but that's how you go about triggering it. Um, the continuity mod, I think, is going to be the easiest one if you aren't helminting off her one. Um, but just in terms of, like, if you have a free mod slot, Archon Vitality is going to be a straight damage increase. Depending on how much you value the actual heat damage, it is at least something. Because uh, most of the time you're using Blazing Pillage for the shield recovery, right? So at least it is some damage uh, to go with it. She doesn't greatly benefit from these, because in order to use this, you have to use the Veilfire uh, Charger. And to be honest, because of its stats, its low crit chance, low crit damage, kind of okay status chance, but really low firing rate and more effective, <laughs> and more essentially, uh, when you use it, it takes the, your defensive stat away from you. Um, so a lot of times this is the uh, the helmet slot, in which case you wouldn't be able to use these two. But this one can be triggered with uh, Blazing Pillage. But there you go, easy enough. That's how Hildren would use these um, in terms of like an official recommendation. Maybe use the Vitality one, Archon Vitality, because it's just free damage. But... Um, <clears throat> the other ones you could probably do without. But anyway, but she can trigger them. Anyway, thank you for listening to my video. Have a blessed day. Stay excellent.